What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? Kuda Malloy coming at you with another cheesy video because cheesy is something that I like to do every once in a while. Maybe on Tuesday only, I don't know. Anyways, let's talk about some cheeses that I explored at Trader Joe's today. I wanted to try them, taste them, see what they're like because I've never tried these before. Maybe you're thinking about these and you want to know what they're like too. Okay, so Cambozola. Sounds Italian, but it's actually a product of Germany. Figure that one out. Anyways, um, made with cow's milk, right? It's basically brie meets blue cheese, if that makes any sense. So if you were thinking about getting a blue cheese and you're like, hey, but I like the soft, spreadable smoothness of a brie, what would happen if they had a weird alien baby between brie and blue cheese? That's what this cheese is. So it's pretty pricey, I guess for today's standards, $12.99 a pound. This one little piece that was, uh, what is that, 0.41 pounds cost me $5.30. Here it says Kambozola. I really want to say that in German. I don't know how to do it. Or is that a German word? Comment below. Let me know. Kambozola. <laughs> I have no idea. Triple cream blue cheese. But it's like a brie met a blue cheese. That's what it's like. See the brie kind of on top. And then it's got the, it's got the softness. It's got the spreadability. You could spread it on a chip. Like these blue corn tortilla chips that I also got at Trader Joe's. I did a whole nother video on those, so make sure to check those out. So Cambozola, flavor-wise, it's pretty mellow. It's not, a it's not a strong blue cheese by any sense of the word, because maybe the brie influence is kind of, you know, brie to me was pretty pale. Like it didn't have a whole lot of salt or kick or pungency or any of that kind of stuff. And this cheese, I feel, has the same exact thing. Like, yes, you do get a blue cheese note in there, especially when you bite into the actual blue cheese part. But it's not overpowering or anything. Or anything. It's just a mellow blue cheese meets brie kind of a flavor. And then the spreadability factor of the brie kind of browns all that out. Okay, next one. Spicy Buffalo Cheddar. This is a Trader Joe's brand. This is like if Tillamook and... Pepper Jack had a baby. That's how I would describe this. It's weird though, because it is soft. Like it almost seems like you could spread it. Like if you forced a spread, you might be able to spread it. But it's definitely got that flavor of cheddar meets pepper jack. That's how I would describe this. They put jalapeno and habanero peppers. I don't know if that's actually, you know... A good accurate description that might be that might be what's in here, but I think it's detuned. I wouldn't say like you get a oh my god, there's a habanero. Habaneros are friggin' hot, right? Ghost pepper, like those are hot, like beyond white people hot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I say that I say that with a grain of salt. But this definitely has a pepper jack kind of a spice to it. Maybe like maybe like. One notch up from Pepper Jack, if that's what you want to call it. I did choke up when I had a piece about this size, the small little piece, for about 20 to 30 seconds. Like, I had to drink a glass of water because I couldn't talk, like, after I had this. But I'm white people spicy, so there you go. I don't know. But, yeah, but texture-wise, you could potentially spread this. I'm going to have to do another test where I melt this and see how it melts, like, in a quesadilla or maybe on some nachos that I might make. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But... I would definitely say flavor-wise, it's got a kick. It's one notch above white people's spicy kick. Like, that's how I would describe it. And then texture-wise, it could be spreadable, but it's like it's like a semi-soft, you know, cheese. Like, you can break it, and then that's what the inside looks like. So it's pretty damn good. Okay. Let's talk about the third one. This third one was kind of interesting. So this is a sheep's milk cheese, right? This one's made in France. It's a Bosque. is what they call it, mini Bosque cheese. I thought... I thought this was like, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like got the funkiness, right? And then it also has like a little bit of like an Asiago cheese kind of a flavor to it. Like kind of like in a roundabout manner, close yet distant, near maybe far. If that's, <laughs> I hope I'm giving you enough analogies, comparisons. It's not Asiago, but it's like and Asiago, and then it has the funkiness of like a funk, and then the texture is more, it's pliable, but it's not easily, you know, 
semi like this is definitely this is definitely a soft cheese this is a spreadable soft cheese you can just squish and do whatever you want with this one here is a semi soft cheese more on the more on the softer side of semi this one here i would say is like maybe a little bit one level above like what a semi soft would be but it's definitely got some some chew to it let's put it that way so flavor wise it's got some funkiness and like a little hint or note notes there you go it's got notes of asiago but the texture is like a semi soft cheese more on the more on the semi side than the soft side so this is more on the soft of semi soft this is more on the semi side of semi soft that makes no sense to anybody watching this video or maybe it does comment in the comment section let me know but those were my three new cheeses. This has been a staple of mine forever. This pub cheese, especially the jalapeno one, or I think they have like a horseradish one. This is like gift from the gods. Gourmet spreadable cheese. This is basically, it's like you took cream cheese and mixed it with this. And that's basically how I would describe it. So if you mix cream cheese and this together, you get this. And this is just spreadable, soft, chip goodness. There's my corn tortilla chip. Just Oh, just... Mm. I hope you can hear that crunching going on because damn, this stuff is good. And this definitely has like a jalapeno flavor to it. A fresh jalapeno flavor. Anyways, if you can make it through all of my madness, you like what you're seeing, my mediocre cheese review of three new cheeses and one old favorite. Hit the pub today. Happy St. Patty's Day. Am I wearing green? No, I'm eating the cheese from a container that was painted in green maybe i don't wear green on saint patrick's day because i'm single i'm looking for a single lady you know maybe there's a single lady out there who likes pinching that's why i don't wear green on saint patrick's day maybe she'll pinch me i don't know let's see what happens <laughs> i swear to god i haven't drank a single thing today i'm not really a fan of alcohol that's a whole nother story i'm just giddy very very giddy anyways thumbs up Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. Gooder Malloy, I will catch you all in the next exciting adventure.